right? <laughs> I'll take it, bro. Take it. Yeah. All the niggas that be having pop smoke, or um, not pop smoke, fucking uh, six nine. You give this nigga two hundred million views. Of course he's gonna go on live talking shit about Meek Mill and all these niggas that he's talking shit about because y'all niggas give him this clout. Y'all give him all this attention. He feels like as soon as he does a live, he's gonna instantly have like a million niggas watching him. And it's like, I can say whatever the fuck I want because these niggas are gonna come back and these niggas are gonna check it out again. And it's like, it's like he cannot be canceled because he's gonna have these little ass kids because I don't know what adult is going to... I don't know if there's been not, no adults come up to me talking about some, hey, turn on that 6 9 Like, I've never heard that shit before. Like, I'll never hear a motherfucker coming to me talking about some turn on that bad baby. There's never, that's never going to come out of an adult's mouth. Pop Smoke can be a legend in New York, and that's completely understandable. He could be a New York legend. But I get, I have no respect for New York at the moment because y'all fucking call 6 9 the king of New York. That's some bullshit. What the fuck happened to fucking... What's his name? Lil TJ? Little TJ, yep. Little, little TJ dropping real shit. What happened to fucking, uh, fucking, um, even Pop Smoke, bro? How can, how the last thing I even heard about Little TJ, he was about to fight somebody at a mall. Yeah, <laughs> in bro. terms of his music, I don't hear nobody talking about him no more. But the motherfucker had caught for a moment in time. Y'all call 6 9 the king of New York because of because of the noise that he can make, not his music. People were saying Little TJ and Polo G was coming up together. Polo G flew way past that nigga, like for real. Like Polo G yeah, took yeah, the fuck bro. off, and Little TJ still in the same spot. Polo G. I, I see niggas talk about uh, Polo G should have been nominated um, at the BET Awards because he had a better album than all the niggas that got nominated. Um, fucking Roddy Rich and all these niggas. I see so many niggas turn their back on Roddy Rich. It don't make no fucking sense. Niggas, fans are, music fans are the most fickle motherfuckers on earth. We was hopping out in broad day. Oh, but I know where you got the, let me They say, oh, yeah, he's too popular on the box. It's overplayed. Oh, it's overrated. Like, nigga, y'all made it overplayed. Y'all made it overrated. The, the, the niggas listening to box five times a day, like, that's your five views are going towards the, all the shit that's accumulating on the fucking YouTube. All the fucking, you know what I'm saying? That nigga has to. It is really contradicting to listen to a song multiple times and be like, this shit getting on my nerves. This shit yeah, getting overplayed. Like, I'm like, like, you part of the problem. Exactly, my nigga. Like, it, how are you going to listen to a song like four or five times a day and then complain the that it's getting overplayed? It's like, you part of the reason why. Of course. 6 9 6 9 is the most popular artist out today. More popular than Dude, Drake? More popular than Drake right now. He's more popular. He's the most popular artist right now, whether you hate him or like him. The most polarizing artist, the most popular artist. It doesn't matter how you chop it up. Um, damn. 6 9 even though Nicki and 6 9 already made a song, you will, you, you have to be blind to ignore the amount of the, the amount of popularity Six Nine had before versus now. Six Nine has never been more popular than he has right now. He got out of jail and promised to not troll. And what the fuck did he do? He <laughs> lied his ass off and started trolling some more. Um, they talking about how the song got flopped, like uh, the new shit with Nicki Minaj. Like trolls went from number one to like number. Yeah, 34. bro, and that's what I'm. That's what I was trying to get at. Y'all understand that that number one lasts forever, right? I don't give a fuck. It does not matter if you want to talk about, oh, it only was there for a week. It's forever, bro. That nigga, you, did you see how he was celebrating when he got it? Nigga popping champagne bottles like the fucking Lions just won a fucking uh, damn fucking trophy for once. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's how I'm going to be when the fucking Lions get to the damn the Super Bowl. Finally. It's going to happen next year, actually. That's what I think, man. The, the thing is uh, with that, uh, with Trolls being like the biggest like fall off and like Billboard, like shit, whatever. The thing about that is the song that used to hold the number one record was a weekend song. I didn't even know that. Yeah, bro, Blinding Lights. Yeah. yeah. That shit went from number one to like like 17 or some shit. Ooh, that's what I want to talk about. They hold. They fucking robbed. They fucking stole that R and B that best R and R and B male artist from fucking weekend. Weekend has been the number one R and B artist all 2020. Didn't win the fucking award. Chris Brown won. Tell me what if fucking. I'm doing what? <laughs> what did Chris Brown do this year that garnered that fucking? He got the best success? collab of the year with Drake too with that with Drake. With that no guidance shit. <laughs> no guidance won one fucking award and it was nominated for like fucking. 12. The thing is, I forgot that song was even a thing. That was last summer. Right. I'm saying like <laughs> that was last summer. <laughs> nigga, there's a whole ass. As a matter of fact, I'm about to I'm about to roast the fuck out of this girl. I'm about to. I'm about it to wasn't to... even a full week. Trolls number one for like two days. <laughs> yeah, bro, it wasn't because they took away all of the um what's the names from uh. The views, the fake views that they got. 